I returned to Brideshead in the spring of 1924. The Easter party was a bitter time, culminating in a small but unforgettably painful incident. Hadn't you better go off and change? Five more minutes, Charles. Look, that's a chow. Sebastian had been drinking very hard for a week. Only I knew how hard. And drinking in a nervous, surreptitious way, quite unlike his old habit. Most of the guests knew him too slightly to notice the change in him, while his own family were occupied, each with their particular friends. So it was not until the evening of the day when the main party had left that he had to face his family at close quarters. Haven't they bought the cocktails yet? Where have you been? Up with Nanny? I don't believe it. You've been drinking. I've been reading in my room. My cold's much worse today. Just a minute. Sebastian, let me in. What's the matter? Sebastian's drunk. He can't be. He's been drinking in his room all afternoon. How very peculiar. What a boy he is. Will he be all right for dinner? No. Well, you all have to deal with it. It's no business of mine. Lately, yes. I suppose it must be something chemical in him. How very boring. Feeling any better? Charles. What you said was quite true. Not with Nanny. Been drinking whiskey up here. Feeling rather drunk. Go to bed. I'll say your cold's worse. Yes. Much worse.
I should get into bed. No. In a minute. Put that down. Don't be an ass, Sebastian. You've had quite enough. Jones has got to do with you. You're your guest here. My guest. I shall drink what I want to in my own house. All right. Only for God's sake, keep it out of sight. Why don't you mind your own business? You came here as my friend. And now you're spying on me for my mother. I know. Well, you can get out of here. And you can tell her from me that I'll choose my friends and she her spies in future. Mr. Ryder? No, thank you. Come of Sebastian. He's gone to bed. His cold's rather worse. Oh dear, I hope he isn't getting flu. I thought he looked a little feverish lately. Is there anything he wants? No. He particularly asked not to be disturbed. I think he needs a glass of hot whiskey. I'll go and have a look at him. No, don't, Mummy. I'll go. May I go? Please, Mummy, if he's not well. I've only just been into him. His cold really has come on rather badly. He says there's nothing that he wants. I think he just needs to get some sleep. Well, I'll just have a look at him. He's probably feeling awful. Cordelia. I promise I won't disturb him. 